We are extremely delighted and privileged to have Nidhi Rati as our chief guest today. She secured All India Rank 300 in pre-medical test entrance exam and done her MBBS from BJ Medical College, Pune. She joined Armed Forces in March 2011. She has completed her post-graduation from Army Hospital Research and Referral, Delhi University, and presently she is the head of the Department of Lab Sciences, Military Hospital, Bhopal. She has published multiple articles in various journals and undertaken research in the field of nephropathology. She has been an active participant in national conferences and presented papers in Delhi and Chandigarh. Above all, she is a Josephite and passed out from St. Joseph's Convent in the year 2004. We welcome you, ma'am, wholeheartedly. Respect Nidhi Rati, our chief guest of today's investiture ceremony, our special guests, parents, members of the Josephite family, ladies and gentlemen. A hearty good morning to each one of you. I, on behalf of the manager, Sister Frances Joseph, principal, Sister Lily, management, staff, and students of this institution, extend a warm welcome to our chief guest and to all of you who have come to witness this auspicious occasion of investiture ceremony. This morning is filled with the desires, hopes and dreams, especially for our young leaders of tomorrow and a proud moment for their parents. To express our deep gratitude and warmth, here we welcome our chief guest by presenting a sapling which is a symbol of prosperity, beauty and love. We are extremely glad to have Mrs. Kranti Singh, Lidhirati's mother, with us today. Ma'am is a proud mother of three daughters. Two of her daughters joined the Indian Army and have the privilege to serve the nation. And one is working in an MNC. We feel delighted to share that all three of them are ex-Josephites and are holding the flag of our school high. We welcome you, ma'am, with a small token of our love and appreciation. We are extremely honored to have Reverend Sister Frances Joseph, manager of the school, amidst us today. Magnanimous, dynamic persona with a visionary aura, Sister Frances Joseph is no less than a competent modern architect in the field of education. During her tenure of 16 years as the principal of the institution, from 1992 to 2008, we witnessed the phase of complete metamorphosis of schools, infrastructure, and functionary system. Its mark as a blend of tradition and technology, as per the call of the hour with human touch, cannot be denied. To express our heartfelt gratitude, we welcome you, sister, to, for this investiture ceremony. Let us experience this tranquility through the theme song, Dream, Dare, Accomplish.
Investiture ceremony is a memorable occasion in the lives of school students nominated and elected to positions of responsibility in the school on the basis of qualities of leadership and impeccable record of good conduct and achievements. We believe in holistic education and one of our prime values is the development of leadership skill which is supported through a variety of school systems and programs. Every activity, whether academic, cultural, sports or social, provides ample opportunities for group leadership. Shortly, we are going to witness a distinctive tradition of the school, whereby the select body of students will be invested with defined powers and privileges. They serve to provide inspiration to the student body and endeavor to lead it into realms of achievements with their sense of integrity and honor. They will blossom forth, leaders of steel and grit, embalmed with God's spirit. May we now request Sister Lily, the President of the School Parliament, to address this special assembly. Honorable Chief Guest, Nidhi Rati, our own ex-student, our manager, Sister Frances Joseph, Mrs. Krandi, dear parents, teachers, and all my beloved children. Good morning and a hearty welcome to each one of you. We welcome you to this impressive function at St. Joseph's. Today is an auspicious day for the students of St. Joseph's as we celebrate the 67th Leadership Day and tomorrow is our 67th Foundation Day. So I congratulate all the members of the Josephite family. I congratulate dear parents for sowing the seed of leadership in your daughters by teaching them responsibility and encouraging them to take leadership and decision. Ever since its genesis in 1956, St. Joseph's has made its mark in the academic field and has produced some of the best scholars and professionals. And we have the example before us, Nidhi. I would congratulate you, dear students, to dare to soar, to take St. Joseph's to greater heights. So may God bless each one of you in all your endeavors. Thank you so much, sister. With the deep insights on leadership given by our principal, we commence this morning's investiture ceremony with a prayer service. Let us enter into an attitude of prayer, praise and petition as we light the lamp of solidarity, integrity, understanding, hope and faith. We invite our chief guest, Nidhi Rati, Reverend Manager Sister Frances Joseph, Respected Principal Sister Lily, Primary Headmistress Sister Stania, Sports Officer Mr. Ravdeep Singh Malhari, and the Prime Minister of the School Parliament, Yoshita Reddy, to light the pious lamp.
the prime minister now commands for caution The Prime Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister march forward to take their oath. The Prime Minister Yoshita Reddy and the Deputy Prime Minister Pragya De receive the sash and the badge. The Prime Minister is now honoured by being presented the school flag to uphold it for this academic year 2023-24. The cabinet ministers and the deputy cabinet ministers take their oath. The chief guest, assisted by the president, hands over the badges to the cabinet ministers and deputy cabinet ministers, denoting their respective portfolio.
the opposition leader Farah Tanveer and the deputy opposition leader Jyotsna Waleja take their oath. the opposition leader and the deputy opposition leader receive their badges all the members of the school parliament receive badges denoting their office I request our primary headmistress sister Stania to please accompany the chief guest Dr Nidhi Rathi to hand over the badges to the primary school leaders
Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, sisters. After the solemn swearing-in ceremony of the school parliament, we proceed with the oath ceremony of the house captains and the vice captains. The house system provides ample opportunities for healthy and constructive competition among students under the able leadership and guidance of their respective house mistresses, captains and vice captains. Every student belongs to a house. The four houses, Nehru, Tagore, Tilak and Gandhi have their own special mottos. Tilak House, right at any cost. Tagore House, strength through hardships. Nehru House, first things first. And Gandhi House, duty before pleasure. The Tilak House Captain Ishita Bhavnani and the Vice Captain Stuti Agrawal march forward to take their oath in the presence of the principal and the housemistress, Mrs. Amrita Tiwari. They receive the sash and the badge. The captain receives the house flag. The Tagore House Captain Khanak Babani and the Vice Captain Shramya Gupta march forward to take the oath in the presence of the Principal and the House Mistress Mrs. Savita Timande. They receive the sash and the badge.
the captain receives the house flag The Nehru House Captain Shriya Pawar and the Vice Captain Akshika Verma march forward to take the oath in the presence of the Principal and the House Mistress Mrs. Mini Raj. They receive the sash and the badge. The captain now receives the house flag. The Gandhi House Captain Archita Gavashinde and the Vice Captain Sonakshi Sharma march forward to take their oath in the presence of the Principal and the House Mistress Dr. Shilpi Agrawal. They receive the sash and the badge.
the captain receives the house flag The solemn proceedings having been successfully completed we now request the chief guest of today's investiture ceremony Dr Nidhi Rathi to say a few words to the assembly gathered here So a very good morning to all of you respected principal members of the school management board respected teachers proud parents and dear children First of all I would like to extend a heartfelt thanks to the school management for inviting me today I'm extremely honored When I see you young children with faces beaming with smiles and accepting the badges it transports me back to the days my school days where I participated in the oath taking ceremony every alternate year and the department was sports and traffic minister Once childhood memories are dearest to everyone and today when i recollect the days of my school i feel delighted most of my happy memories were those time i spent on the field doc uh, mr ravdeep sir would agree to that i want to thank all my teachers for their love dedication and their sacrifices which has helped to bring up this institution So if I talk about my school life and my younger years I had a very rewarding school life I was good at studies I used to sco score first second or third rank uh, I was good at sports I won the individual championship I headed the sports and traffic minister department alternate year of my class and I participated in NCC I have uh, commanded the squads and led many Uh, NCC camps and represented our school. It is because of my inclination towards sports and the sense of discipline which this school has instilled in me, I was motivated to join the armed forces. Needless to say, children, discipline forms the foundation of the student life. Discipline is the bridge between your goals and accomplishments. What you want to what you will become. will be decided by the amount of discipline you have in your student life equally important is hard work hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard everybody has heard that so if i speak of hard work i would like to remember my 11th and 12th days when i was like everybody else had actually decided that i'll go and become a doctor so i took biology and i stayed at baragar which is very far away from mp nagar and all our coaching institutes the leading ones were at mp nagar so i used to reach school say uh, around 2:15 i used to reach my home and then i used to catch a mini bus the sat number bus and it used to take me 1 hour to reach mp nagar then i would attend all my classes there especially physics and biology and come back at home at around 8:30 at night by 9 o'clock i was so tired that i used to go to sleep you can ask my mother so early to bed early to rise then i also used to get up at 4:30 in the morning because we had to had chemistry classes by noor sir at idga hills and we used to leave our school home at 5:30 in the morning so you can imagine the 11th and 12th went like this but still i had a regular attendance at my class I was the teacher's pet and I scored first rank in the biology section. So, 
Now, a very interesting thing is, during my ninth physics, I, 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 I used to love physics. Physics was my favorite subject. So we had a physics teacher, Mrs. Shanta Datta. And in her class, I used to sit alone at the back bench. Any, any, any guesses why I would love to sit alone at the back bench? Because my friends told me, Nidhi, if we will sit with you, ma'am will drag us into question and answer round. Because she used to call me for problem solving and questions each day of the physics class. I utilized this challenge as an opportunity to learn physics. I got better at it. I used to go home, solve the questions, read the chapter in advance, and come all prepared. So dear students, I can only instill this motivation in you if you want to do good in life. Seizing the opportunity is very important. Now remember students, you are the masters of your destiny. Never let obstacles or setbacks hold you back. Make the most of this opportunity. This opportunity which you should realize right now. Being part of a prestigious institute like St. Joseph's Convent and thanks to your parents' sacrifices that you are going to this prestigious school. I would request, please seize this opportunity while there's still time and instill discipline and get in the habit of hard work. Opportunity is usually missed by most people. And you know why? Because it is dressed in overalls and it looks like ordinary hard work. So don't be afraid. Seize it. Make time to follow your passion and never let your hobbies take a setback. To choose a job you love, you will never have to work a day in your life. You will enjoy the work so much that the work will not feel like work. So always be kind to the less fortunate. Show compassion for those who need it. Those are our basic qualities. Regarding today's ceremony, coming back to this institute, it has not surprised me much. We are still best amongst Bhopal schools and the level of participation by students, be it march past, the band, the dance ceremony, speaks volumes about the efforts the management and the teachers are putting in. I would want to say for the leaders who've taken the oath today, and mind you, I remembered the oath because I've taken it a lot many times. Ma this marks your journey to a leader and a good leader. Teamwork makes dream work. And leadership is an action. Remember that. Do not use this as a position. So all of you promise that you will put in hard work, you will instill discipline, be kind to everyone, show compassion, and do very well in your life. Wishing you all the best. I'm hopeful one day all of you will make this school proud by proving your mettle. So, with the motto, virtue anol ennobles. Khol de pankh mere kehta hai parinda. Khol de pankh mere kehta hai parinda. Abhi aur uran baaki hai. Zameen nahi hai manzil meri. Zameen nahi hai manzil meri. Abhi pura asman baaki hai. Jai hain. All the best. The Prime Minister of the School Parliament, Yoshita Reddy, will propose a vote of thanks. Good morning, respected sister, teachers, dear parents, and all the students present over here. It is my great honor and privilege to present a vote of thanks on behalf of this institution. First of all, I would like to thank the Almighty God for making this occasion a resounding success. I am thankful to our chief guest, Lieutenant Colonel Nidhi Rathi, for gracing this event. Thank you, ma'am, for motivating us by your words of wisdom. I would like to thank our Reverend Principal, Dr. Sister Lily, 
for always guiding us and supporting us. My sincere gratitude to all the teachers, students, and the school cabinet for their immense efforts for making this event a successful one. Parents always help their children to follow their dreams and take care that the children do not face any obstacles. Our sincere gratitude to all the parents for the rock solid support system. We would like to thank all the known and unknown hands that contributed to make this event a success. With sincere gratitude, I, Yoshita Reddy, Prime Minister, would like to take your leave. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day ahead. Like all good things which come to an end, we conclude the investiture ceremony with the national anthem. Everyone is requested to please rise in honor of this great nation. We call upon Yoshita Reddy to command the school for the playing of the anthem. 